He said he so John said he turned around and see the voice. He heard a voice. He turned around to see the voice that was speaking to him, right? Read. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Uh -huh. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. So, Jocelyn, when you read the Bible, the Son of Man is Christ. It's Jesus the Christ. So he turned around. He saw Christ. Read. Cloth with a garment down to the foot. Christ had him a garment. This is why you see us dressed this way today, because our forefather, Christ, and our forefathers, they dressed like this. They wore garments back in those days. They had fringes on them, right? Read. And gird about the paps with a golden girdle. So Christ had on a, like you see us with this goat, with this girdle, little belt thing. Well, Christ had a gold one on, right? Read on. His head and his hairs. His what? His head and his hairs. So his head, the hair on his head and his hairs, meaning his facial hairs, read. Were white like wool. They were white and they were woolly. Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So his head and his hairs, they were white in color. And then it says like wool, woolly in texture. Like I'm sure you got family members with woolly hair. You know what I mean? So look at, let's just play strike, let's play three strikes. So which, which uh, depiction of Christ has the hair that's the color white and it looks like the texture wool? It'd be the one on the left, right? All right, read on. So, so that's strike one against this image, right? All right, read. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Meaning his eyes were red because when you read uh, Genesis, it talks about Christ drinking wine. Christ drink wine. What happens to your eye? The whites of your eyes turn red sometimes when you drink wine, right? So it says, so when you look at the depiction, which one will have the, the, uh, the more closer to the red eye? The one on the left, right? Read. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. So now, like, I can see your feet, um, Jocelyn. I can see your feet, right? All right, so now I can tell you, hey, yeah, you got light brown feet. I see your feet, right? So John is about to describe Christ's feet. Read. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. Jocelyn, what color is brass? Brass. B-R-A-S-S. -S. Brass. Like a, think about like a penny. Like a, yeah, gold brown kind of like a, like, yeah, exactly. But like, watch this. So it doesn't stop there. So now keep looking at the picture. All right, read. And his feet like unto fine brass. So it says his feet like unto fine brass. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they what? As if they burned in a furnace. So if you take anything, Jocelyn, and you burn it in a furnace, what color is it going to turn? If you burn something, yeah, it's going to turn very, very dark. It's going to turn that color. If it's fine brass, it's going to get darker because it burned, right? So Christ was a very, very dark skinned man. So now let's look at the pictures. When you look at the images there, which one fits the description in the Bible that he just read? That one. So when you look at a lot of our, um, is that it on that? Yes, sir. When you look at a lot of our, like, because I know uh, growing up, my, my, uh, my parents, well, my parents never had it, but I would go to some of my friends' houses. You look on their refrigerator walls, they got a picture of so-called Christ. But he didn't look like, and we didn't know then, but when I actually read the Bible, I realized, like, wait a minute, I'm looking on the, on the refrigerator and I see the picture of this guy, right? But, but the Bible says he look, actually looks like the other guy. That's right. Right? So let me ask you, Jocelyn, you, you're a 13-year-old, you seem like a very, very smart girl. Why would, why would we have a different image of Jesus Christ? Because that's he's an important figure, right? When you say he's important, so why would it be a different, a different image of Christ than, other than what the Bible was saying? Why would it, why would it be like that? <laughs> they made up his appearance, but why? Because the Bible shows you what it what he looks like. It tells you right there. So it's no need for me to, uh, like somebody said, hey, hey her, your name's Jocelyn, right? So I said, I said, yeah, that's Jocelyn right there. Nope, I'm going to call her Samantha. Why? Because I just want to say her name is Samantha. What's the reason to do that when she just said her name was Jocelyn? The Bible just said he, he was a dark-skinned man with woolly hair, white woolly hair. So why make up this guy if the Bible tells us who he was and how he looked? That's right. What, what could that do? Think about that for a second. What could that do to you mentally? 
It'll make you think that what? This guy is the son of God. You see what I'm saying? It will make you, when you see this image here, you, you equate that image with the son of God. Which means you equate that image with God. So now, guess what, Jocelyn? You don't see yourself in the lineage as God. So therefore, you don't think that you need to do what God asks you to do. Because you're like, well, I'm not, I'm a Gentile. I'm just being saved by grace of Jesus. Grace of the white Jesus. Right? When really it's to destroy us mentally. Give me uh, Jeremiah 17 real quick. Jeremiah 17 and 4. I'm going to show you why this happened to us. Why they were able to push this image on us when the Bible tells us he looked like this, but they was able to push this on us and we never questioned it. That's right. We never took one second to read in, in all of our, our houses. We got Bibles in them, right? So you could go to your house right now and find a Bible, right? We don't question it. And this is why. Read. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4 And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Read it again from the top. Watch this, and thou, even thou self, shalt discontinue from thy heritage. So the Bible said that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans which are the Israelites, according to the Bible, will discontinue from their heritage. Read. That I gave thee. That who gave them? That I gave thee. Because God gave us the heritage. Sirach, give me, give me the heritage in Sirach. God, yes, sir, in 11. God gave us the heritage. He said he was gonna, we were going to discontinue from You got a question? You're like, you want to ask a question? Oh, really? Okay. Okay, where you at? Right here? Okay. Do you have you have any questions about what we brought out so far? Anything you want to get answered? All oh, praise to the Most High. Get a sister a hand. She think we right. All oh, praise to the Most High. Yeah. Let, but real quick before you go, let's get that. Yeah. Real quick before you go, there's something that I know you you know you doing as you told you 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 young you're doing as your parents asked you to do. But I want to leave you with this because you said you think it's right, right? You believe this, right? So I'm going to show you a law. Remember, God said we're going to discontinue from our heritage, which when you read Sirach is the laws of God. Here's a law of God. I'm just going to give you this real quick, Joshua. Read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the Sabbath day. God said remember the Sabbath day. Today is the Sabbath day, the seventh day of the week. Sunday is the first day of the week. The Saturday is the seventh day of the week. So God says remember the Sabbath day. Read. To keep it holy. To do what? To keep it holy. To keep it holy, right? Six days shall thou labor. Six days shall we labor, shall we work, right? Shall we do things for work? We got six days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? Read. And do all thy work. And do what? And do all thy work. Uh-huh. But the seventh day. But the seventh day, read. Is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. It said, but the seventh day, which is today, is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God, which I know you haven't heard that before. But it's my duty to tell you so you know moving forward. You can spread the word. Read it again. But the seventh day uh -huh. is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it thou shalt not do any work. In it we shall do what? Thou shalt not do any work. See, the problem is, what I'm trying to show you, Jocelyn, if we was worshiping the true Christ, we would know the true script, the sayings of the scriptures. But because we worship the wrong Christ, we don't even know what day we're supposed to keep as a Sabbath. We don't know that we're not supposed to work on the Sabbath day because we're following that. But when we know the true image, we now know the true commandments that come with it you understand we used to scream black power while heron was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain iuic has been given a vision the tents of judah has risen many has attempted the mission minor murmuring omitting and missing the mark just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.